We've likely all experienced snow, but have you experienced underwater snow? Joining me now is Natalie Wolfenbarger with the University of Texas to explain what underwater snow is and how it can help us find life on other worlds. So what it is, is it's a special type of ice uh, that we found in Antarctica. Uh, and this is actually an ice that people heavily research to this day. And it's an ice that forms in a kind of counterintuitive process. What happens is when we have ice of different thickness, so something where that might be deeper and another place where it's shallow, so think like a crack or something, uh, when this ice at the deeper part melts, we end up creating um, water, um, but it's water that's more pure than the salty ocean water. So it's also kind of lighter. So it has, it has this tendency to want to float. So as it's kind of floating, up along the interface to a more shallow depth, what can happen is it becomes what's called super cooled. So this is water that wants to form ice, but the conditions aren't exactly right for it to form. And so this is where we get these little crystals of ice that are basically forming that look like little plates. And these are again, uh, very light. So they float up and collect at the interface, almost like a snow falling except upside down. Now, I see the Europa poster behind you there. So tell me, how yes. does this information help us on Europa when we're exploring there? We kind of realized that like, even though the surfaces of these worlds, like Europa and Enceladus, are kind of these harsh alien environments, like nothing we really see on Earth, when we look at the conditions at the ice ocean interface at depth, they're actually not very uh, dissimilar to what we might expect beneath ice shelves in Antarctica it's probably likely that we have these two different types of freezing occurring at Europa. And why this matters is it could be important to kind of controlling these uh, overall ice shell dynamics. So this idea of material exchange between the surface and the ocean, which we care a lot about from the perspective of habitability, actually. What it could tell us is kind of what processes might be occurring there and how that might help to potentially support life that is there.